Good evening, good evening, my friends. Today, tonight, I, uh, I'm hiding my face because you couldn't see it if you wanted to. I uh, lost power at my house, so just recording this video uh, without power, which, you know, we're pretty spoiled here in America. Um, you know, electricity isn't necessary for life, but it seems like it when you don't have it. So, but I was reminded of this uh, scripture tonight, Isaiah 49. Listen, O isles, unto me, and hearken, you people from far. The Lord has called me from the womb. From the bowels of my mother has he made mention of my name. And he has made my mouth like a sharp sword. In the shadow of his hand has he hid me. And made me a polished shaft in his quiver that he hid me. And he said unto me, You are my servant, O Israel, in whom I will be glorified. Then I said, I have labored in vain. I have spent my strength for nothing and in vain. Yet surely my judgment is with the Lord and my work with my God. This passage is is very encouraging to me because you know you see that this man that the person who's speaking i believe it's this is a foreshadowing of jesus this is jesus speaking by the spirit this is the spirit of christ um but he has made my mouth like a sharp sword he's hidden me in his quiver and he's told me you are my servant O israel in whom i will be glorified and but but what's interesting is right here. But then I said, I have labored in vain. I have spent my strength for nothing and in vain. Yet surely my judgment is with the Lord and my work with my God. Even though he starts off by saying, listen to me. Listen to me. The Lord has called me from the womb. From the, from the bowels of my mother, he made mention of me. He did this. He hid me. And, and he's made me a polished shaft. In his quiver, he hid me. And he told me this beautiful thing about me being his servant, who he was going to glorify himself through. And the response is, I have labored in vain. I have spent my strength for nothing and in vain. What, it's, it's always like that. You know, not, I shouldn't say always. That's, that's too powerful. But it's like that a lot with us. The Lord speaks great things to us, things that are beyond our understanding, things that should be encouraging, really, or affirming his work in our life and, and showing us great and unsearchable things. And our response is, but based on what I can see, I... It, it, it's not going to happen. You know, I surely I've labored in vain. I spent my strength for nothing and in vain. Like I, I did all this stuff and it seems like it was pointless. Like, even though God, you're telling me this, what I'm seeing in my life tells me the opposite. But, but that's, that's how God works. You know? We have to go out in faith. And, and at the end of the day, even when our faith is weak, we must say this. Surely my judgment with the Lord is with the Lord and my work with my God. Like at the end of the day, even if we don't believe what God is telling us, even if we can't see like the end or the means or, or how he's going to accomplish what he's telling us or or whatever it is at the end of the day he still is our only hope like whatever we're expecting whatever our hope is it's in the lord alone our work he is going to reward our our judgment he will execute you know it's only a matter of time and we have to know that he's the one in control of that. And his timing is perfect. And no matter how we feel, we got to keep coming to the Lord and 
looking to him for the things that we desire and know that that none of our labor has been in vain none of our strength has been spent for nothing our strength is spent so that we can stop relying on ourselves and start relying on the lord so trust him with everything and know that whatever he has spoken to encourage you he will surely bring it to pass amen